I'm really into the idea of unity, you know. I just feel like it's too easy sometimes. This is the thought I'm having that prompted me to make a video. I see how easy it is to interview someone with a webcam. I could get a program that would allow me to record me and record you as we're talking and record some fucking sick ass shit like some amazing interviews that get the point across I could get six to eight people and you know I think we're headed in that direction but I've been able to do I could have done that four years ago I knew that you know I could have tweeted it's all like at your fingertips basically if you gotta connect with people it's there I started off being like man I gotta get my message out and realizing like whoa shit I gotta rein my message in um, because it was exploding in every direction. I think, uh, I'm not to say I'm turned off by how easy it is, because, good lord, as I sit by and do nothing, people die and suffer, and the pigs are slaughtered, and shit is going down the tubes, I'm told, you know, I, I see very positive outcome of things, uh, constantly positive energy and reinforcement but I don't think other people uh, have the fortune to feel that way for whatever reason they've been bred to think negatively about the situation they're desperate they're overwhelmed they're censured whatever you want to call it they're incensed oh, speaking of which I'd love to light a little bit of incense right now I got definitely got to pick up some of that Nag Champa I don't know why I have a positive outlook. I don't know why I'm different, or what, I don't know what, what's different in someone that they would feel positively about something. I've never gone through severely negative times. I have seen the depths of hell in my mind and been forced to watch over and over, to the point where I hurt so bad in my chest and neck from tension, and I didn't know why and I just thought if you stretch it, that's the way to do it, but it's a deeper thing. It comes from your, your, your stomach, your gut, your intention. And yeah, you gotta stretch. And I'm still waiting for my fucking spine to go and like break back so that my alignment oh, moves back a little bit. But I've been there, man. I've been through that hard time. I think, you know, Amanda used to always bullshit me about how easy stuff was for me and how jealous she was about it. And it wasn't easy. It was never easy. I made it look easy. I, I, I made it easy. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta dig a hole? Oh, it's a bit, you gotta dig a really deep hole? Well, you can fucking bitch and complain about how tough it is as you do it. You can think you can just sit there and stare at it how it's impossible or you can do it and um, realize how easy it is if you get into the groove you don't have to break a sweat when you ride 20 miles I mean they're you know Dan doesn't fucking sweat when he rides 20 miles. I've, I've, go, I've run for I don't know hours but I've run for long fucking distances and not broken a sweat just because I don't have the, the toxins to sweat out sometimes, or, or whatever. So, I've, I've made it easy, but it wasn't easy to make it easy. It takes discipline to make it easy. Uh, you can do that. You, we all can do that. You, you can easily create a situation where you can do anything. So, I want to impart that to people. Um, I want you to be happy. You are happy. And you know, there's both sides to it. There's the negative and the positive, and it's like, is it I guess maybe in a lot of ways this 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 talking to a video camera and, and things is gone on too long. You know, I figured out how to clear my mind to a point where I can think things to you rather than say them to you. And they have this immensely powerful effect because I'm not barraging you with my voice. And I can do that and, and repeat it. Repeat it. Repeat it.
you know, create this new cadence of behavior. So like, I keep, I, the way I'm looking at it is, and it's and maybe it's, it's a silly metaphor, but follow me on the ride, okay? I'm a wizard. I, I figured out how to cast magic, or a sorcerer maybe, because it's this innate ability to produce an effect that's different than sociological impartation, I guess you would say. Like, I wasn't told how to do it, I just figured it out. Um, you can emote, you can, you can display an imagination without telling people. You make it a reality without having to verbalize. I figured out how to do that. And I immediately, well, more or less, after I really honed it uh, for about a year, decided that I don't want to live like that because it's isolating. Uh, it's very strange creates a very weird reality where people s surround you and look at you like a god and think you're different and better and I want to fit in with society even though it's a sick fucking society maybe me wanting to fit in with society is the problem maybe that's been my problem for a long time actually because society's a mess man I mean we are in a fucked up global economy situation like a slave system So, that's interesting. But to, 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 to finish my story, it, it's like, uh, I don't know if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons or role-playing games or any kind of video games or fantasy games or if you follow fantasy uh, imagination of wizards and warriors and archers and rangers and monks and druids and all these different creatures, priests, you know, that have divine spells and... You know, interesting when you spell something, it's like a spell, like learning to speak and spell is like uh, magic. So I basically developed this magic and immediately wanted to, con it's like I learned a level of sorcerer now, but then I wanted to continue to be a warrior, just to continue to build my level of normalcy. Like, I want to get by without having to, you know, emote, without having to go into this subconscious or subversive reality where I manipulate uh, without speaking, I wanted to get back to normal, and um, I figured the best way to do that is be an actor or a musician. Well, it's the same thing, you know, but uh, different types of music and different types of acting. Like acting is a kind of music, and music is a kind of acting. But I wanted to fit back in, so that's I've been pursuing that so heavily, and it's great because I've got a better singing voice than I've ever had and I will point you to some fucking music I did. Go watch that Minds video. I'll put the link on it. Oh, it just sounds... Deli I was just singing the other night. It's like, I learned how to open up my core, kind of. I think it's from all the meditation and, you know, I don't know what you call it, manipulation. Uh, but, like, stretching and, like, just opening up the conduit from, like... This guy came up to me the other night. We had a show a couple nights ago. He was like, my God, man, you sound like it's coming... Like, you're reaching down to the depths of your self and pulling the words out and that's what I'm doing like I'm literally opening up this conduit in these lower diaphragmatic areas where the uh, you know it's like coming out and like it, when that's happening you don't have to uh, strain really like it, 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 your body will start like going you know like like air flying out of a hose it's pretty fucking cool so I figured out how to do that, and I think I can get by with that. If I, you know, get a solid band together that I, maybe a bunch of good friends that want to play music for a living, and we, we could do that, and then I could just keep talking and talking. You talk too much, you say too much, nobody knows all the answers. Noam Chomsky sounds like a fucking egotistical prick sometimes. The way he talks about how he thinks he knows everything is, you know, it's annoying. And I don't want to be like that. I don't want to feel like I can't talk to people. But I think I'm in the right career, you know, entertainment on some level. I entertain with these YouTube videos. It's been a, bla a blinding success, in my opinion, a, bla a blazing victory. It's been, it's been good. It's been up and down and up and down, but it's been very, very highlight of my life for myself. It's, it's very enjoyable and right now. You know, it's on YouTube. Put it on YouTube. Put it on Minds. And, uh, 
but I'm branching out. You know, I like to do entertainment, but I like to be behind the scenes also. But like, I think, I think entertainment's the way to go. You know, the, I'm going to LA, going back to LA. I'm going to go live in LA for a while, and uh, entertainment is is just so easy. I mean, there's not much to it, right? You just stay healthy, look good, and talk. And you look good when you relax. This is what it comes to. Look in the mirror. Don't stare at yourself. Make a video. Talk to yourself. You'll see what looks weird. If you want to look a certain way, literally take your fucking face and fix it. Mold it into the shape you want it to be. That's Our bodies are like clay, man. I used to look in Chicago, like in 2004 or three or something. I would look in the, the window of the subway. Like while I was on the train. I'd be sitting on the train. It'd be night. So you'd look out, out the window, but you, the light from inside the train would be reflecting off the glass, and it, it was kind of like a mirror. And I, I remember looking at myself in the mirror and just seeing how my jaw was in. And I was like, man, if my jaw was just out a little bit, it would look spectacular. So I would, like, work out, work it out. You need to change the shape of your body when you work out. And I would literally work out that shape to fix it. Like, I can feel my jawline is in too far. I want it out. So I will literally, I mean, I will spend hours doing this, too. Like, just just dig it out. Just like, and what you do is, you know, you breathe in. You get this oxygen. It heats you up. You breathe in electrons that are attached to the oxygen. They're attached to the carbon in the carbon dioxide, all the stuff that you're breathing in, there's electrons attached to all that. Anyway, you breathe in, it heats you up. It makes your body more malleable. Like clay. If you heat clay up, it softens it. To a certain point. And then if you keep heating it up, it, it kills it. But like, or it, it hardens it. So you find this, this, this nice temperature, which happens to be 98.6 degrees, which is like the temperature that yeast activates at. Funny, huh? Because we're like yeast. We're like spores. That's what helps create us. And uh, then you, you, once you warm up a little bit, you push your muscle into the shape you want it to be, and then you breathe out. And when you breathe out, you basically your body's taking the oxygen, it's adding a carbon to a couple oxygens to create carbon dioxide, and when that happens, the process of oxidation occurs, and oxidation takes an electron and attaches it to the carbon dioxide. And then you breathe it out. And that's why when you breathe out, your, your breath is hot because you're breathing out heat. And when you breathe out, your body cools down and the muscle hardens into the shape that you've moved it to. So basically, you take your muscle, you press it, you like, you know, hold it, kind of compress it into the shape you want it to be, and you breathe out. And it remains in that shape. And it's not perfect, you know, it'll go back to what it was a little bit, but you just keep working that process and it keeps going back a little bit but eventually it starts to really maintain the shape you're molding it into so I've used that tactic and at, at, I mean I've really really used that tactic the last couple of years I, I know my eyes like I look at these videos you know and I can I can even feel it while I'm talking it's interesting um, like bags under my eyes and it's from acid in the diet like I'm drinking a beer I had coffee today um, an orange, which is kind of acidic. If you eat a very uh, alkaline diet, it helps you not get wrinkles. It helps your skin kind of smooth out and relax. And, but I've been, you know, I just, I, I don't mind the acid. I, I want to extend my lifespan, so I know I've got to take it easy on the acid. But at the same time, um, I like it. So I like the caffeine. I like the, what it does to me. This is called venting. I, you know, I can go on and on. I've been doing this a lot. I've got this chair that le it leans back. And I'm like, uh, keeping my, like my neck like kind of, I don't know if you easily see that. Like, oh this and I can feel it stretching my thyroid and I can feel like pain and it's basically like a clogged thyroid I can feel like shit in it but uh 
It's it worked. Oh, I just felt something like cracking open and drain. Oh god. And uh, that's been really good. That's helped my neck mobility a lot. So, plan of action. Entertain. 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 I'm gonna be an entertainer. I'm entertaining you right now. Uh, I'm entertaining myself right now. Is what I'm. I'm uh, I think I'm gonna go peace. You know, Gandhi said, of all the uh, atrocities that the British inflicted on the Indian people, taking their weapons away was the one that history will revile the most. He didn't use those exact words, but that was interesting to hear that Gandhi said that, you know. Hitler said the easiest way to uh, something about control population is to take away their weapons. You know, everyone's something. Uh, it wasn't that that he said. He said something about, like, uh, take their weapons away. So, uh, speaking of peace, I mean, Gandhi did lead a peaceful revolution, but that's because none of the population was armed. He didn't have a choice. So, keep that in mind, fellow brother or sister.